sure that we have the safety of our children on the road. And it's a great pleasure to have her with me today. Uh, it's not an easy task for Madame Lane, but uh, she, uh, she will uh, do what needs to be done to convince the people across the country. And it's uh, to you. Hello everyone. My name is Isabel Haynes. Nearly two and a half years ago, on January the 12th, my son Daniel and six members of the Baptist High School basketball team were killed in a horrific city and pasture band that also took the life of a coach's wife. Together, our boys are known around the world as the Boys in Red. Seven boys and the son of Daniel. Every, everyone knows what happened on January the 12th. 2008, a day that changed our lives and the lives of so many people in Bathurst, New Brunswick, and across Canada forever. Much has happened since then, including a coiner's input that last May that resulted in 24 recommendations, one of which was to ban the use of 15 pasture vans for transporting students across Canada. In preparation for the coroner's inquest last, way, last May, we had to educate ourselves about the laws and regulations so that we could understand the legal framework which was supposed to protect our children. Instead, what we found was a legal framework that protected the government and its employees, a legal framework which failed our children in, at every turn because the people whose job it was to know the guidelines, regulations, policies, and acts didn't do their job. Last September 2009, I called Yvonne Benass, our NDP member of Parliament for IDP Babbers, and asked him if Anna, Marcella, and myself could have a meeting to discuss the jury recommendations regarding the 15 passenger vans across Canada. We explained to him our concerns and about the, school, the continued use of these vehicles across Canada because we knew better than anyone else that these 15 passenger vans were not safe and were not suitable, un they were unsuitable for student travel. Yvon was very supportive and told us that he would put his research team on the issue and get back to us as soon as possible. In November, he called to say he had a draft of the bill. Over the course of the following months, the bill was developed into what we see today, an all-out ban on the use of 15 pasture vans for transporting students across Canada. Thank you, Yvon and your team for taking the initiative to research, write, and introduce the important bill for the safety of school-aged children. I applaud you and your staff for taking the lead on this issue. We know that you understand how critical it is that 15 passenger vans are taken off the road. The Boys in Red Bill should come as no surprise to the federal and provincial governments and the school districts too because the danger of using 15 passenger vans have been widely known for them for many years. It has been called death trap for a quarter of a century by experts who have been trying, without success, to get government to outlaw these vehicles. As re recently as 2006, the Canadian Standards Association proposed a voluntarily, voluntary new standard that would see 15 passenger vans replaced by 20 one passenger multi-function activity vehicle. The MSD, FAV, the safety, engineering, and the child protection features found, found on yellow school buses in comparison to the 15 passenger vans which are made of light metal with no steel reinforcement, like a tin can on wheels, a death truck. In July 2007, the CSA sent a letter to the Federal Minister of Transport, Lawrence Cannon, informing him that the 15 passenger van should be replaced by 21 passenger MFAV. Nothing was done. In 2008, the CSA, seven months after our sons were killed, and two years after they released the first proposal in 2006, the CSA made another announcement about the new voluntary, voluntary standard B270 multifunction activity vehicle to replace the 15 passenger van. And here we are again, two years later, in May 2010, still trying to ban these 15 passenger vans for student transportation because the federal government has not acted on the CSA recommendation. I have no doubt, whatever, whatsoever, if my son, his friends, and Stella Gurr, her son Michael Gurr, who is 26 years old, and he died in a 15 passenger van on September 26, 2008. 
all traveling in a 21 passenger multifunction activity vehicle, the kind of vehicle that the CSA was proposing as a new standard for the student travel as early as 2006, that they would be alive today. There are no public awareness, no campaign to raise the, the alarm about the dangers of these death traps. Even I didn't know about them. It is too late for my son, but it's not too late for all the other boys and girls out there who are being transported to extracurricular activities in 15 passenger vans. These vans must be banned across Canada. It must be mandatory. It must be law. This is the only way our children will be protected. I believe the federal government must, make, must take action by imposing rules on who can import the vans and who can they sell to be sold to. The Bathurst tragedy proves that you cannot trust the people in authority to do what is right for the safety of the children. We need this bill to be passed with the full support of all parties. It is no longer acceptable for the federal and provincial governments and school districts to pass the buck and ignore expert opinions about 15 pastor vans which says they are death traps that should not be used to transport children. I hope they listen and do what's right to keep children safe because our children <coughs> can't speak for themselves. We are the adults whom children depend on to make the right decisions about their safety. You, me, Prime Minister, the Ministers of Transport, John Baird, all the ministers of parliament, every parent of a child in school, every district superintendent, every premier of, in every province, we all know that these vehicles are death traps. So do not say you don't know because you do. The sad fact is that New Brunswick only banned these vehicles after our sons were killed. We don't want the same thing to happen to another province, waiting until another tragedy occurs before any child dies a preventable death, for another province decides to ban 15 passenger vans. I employ you to ask now, pass this bill, prevent another tragedy from happening because of 15 passenger vans. Don't think it will never happen to you. Thank you.